get into position for the kneeling incline lat row with the dumbbells. Um, you're gonna want a stability ball of some sort, two dumbbells. And um, since we'll be in a kneeling position, often for us ladies in our 40s and up, need something soft for our knees. So, um, you know, your carpet might be enough, but if not, you can put a towel, a yoga mat. Um, they have these stability pads here. So I'm gonna use this today. So you'll put that there and put your knees on that. You're going to be, let me get my dumbbells out here. Get your dumbbells out. Hi, I'm Raizel. I create workout tutorials and full length workouts for women in their over 40s and almost 40s like myself. It's a specific type of exercise. It involves resistance training at home. Um, but even more than that, this is different from what you see online a lot. It's not intense. It's about a much slower paced workout with chill music. If that sounds like something you've always wanted and haven't been able to find, please come on over to my website at inspirefulwomen.com. You're going to be leaning over on the stability ball, like so, so that your um, torso is supported. Now, how, how far you lean over will depend a little bit on the ball size, um, you know, how full it is, and then just kind of how, how your knees are bent and such. There's no real rules about it. If you're bent over a little farther, it'll be a little easier to get lat, uh, lat activation. Um, but even if you're only bent a little bit, like you know, like this, um, that that's okay too. You'll still get good activation. So you just want to do um, whatever position makes the rest of your body feel comfortable while you're doing the movement. Okay. So you still want to think about having a nice neutral spine when you get into position. So here we are. We'll lean on the ball. Your hands are gonna hang down at your sides. So they're gonna kind of stick out a little bit. I might show you from the front in a little bit um, because of the size of the ball, but that's okay. Um, in this position, you want to go ahead and pull your shoulder blades in and down your back still. So we're still, we're not gonna just, you know, lean over, but we're in this position like this. Our hands hanging straight down. Um, your feet can be pointed or dorsiflexed, whatever is comfortable for you. From here, to do the movement, you're going to think about leading back with your elbows, bringing your arms behind the body, leading with the elbows. Your arms will bend as you do that. And as you pull up, think about also squeezing in towards your spine, okay? Because when you start here, your arms are kind of far out. So we're not just lifting straight up, we're lifting up and in. And you also wanna think about pulling down. It's, it's basically an up, in, and down. So you want to think about down towards your low back and then squeeze at the top, pause, and then slowly lower. So in this position with the ball, your hand will start out a little wider, as I said, and then it will squeeze inward. The dumbbells will end up kind of in line some here, somewhere here with your hips. Squeeze those elbows in and down towards your low back and then return. I'll do a few for you now. Now, if you notice while I'm doing the movement, let me move my gorgeous hair. <laughs> Um, keep your, I'm just saying gorgeous hair because I don't usually do my hair. So I feel all special on the day that I shoot because it's the only time I do my hair. Um, keep the space between your ears and your shoulder here at the top. So you don't want to get into the habit of like having it kind of close up here. So keep all of this, you know, nice, a good amount of space there. Okay. As you do the movement, even when you come to the bottom, you're keeping that space between your ear and your shoulder. Now from the front, I want you to see how when I do the movement, my arms are here kind of a little far out from the sides of my body, right? Because of the ball sticking out. But then as I pull back and down and I'm also pulling in, can you see where my elbows are right now? So versus like kind of just going up like this. So pull in and down and back like that.
So that's how you do that movement. And one last reminder, the place that you're supposed to be feeling it is all in here on the side of your back, okay? So your lat muscle is very large. So somewhere in here, depending on where your elbow is going, you should be feeling it here. Thanks for being with me today, ladies. If you enjoy my teaching style, you feel like you're learning useful things, you might wanna come on over to my website at inspirefulwomen.com. Over there, what you'll find is additional information, things that teach you the what and the why, like why are we working the muscles we're working, how do we use them in everyday life, um, common mistakes that we make with movements, how to keep our bodies safe as we do resistance training, as well as full length workouts with that chill music I was talking about. So I hope to see you over at Inspire powerfulwomen.com.